That's creepy pastas. All events in this creepy pasta series are fictional, and any resemblance to real events is coincidental. The Ryan Toy Review Creepy Pasta. Parents know this kid all too well. The infamous Ryan on YouTube, to whom is the owner of the Ryan's Toy Review channel, and he is one of the most famous and richest kids on YouTube. For years, he and his parents had ran a surprise egg channel and a toy channel that had racked in millions of subscribers and tons of young fans. My four-year-old daughter loves watching his videos on YouTube herself. Until one day, all that changed for the both of us. My daughter watches his shows on our smart TV in our living room all the time when she is not in school. She became excited one day to see a new episode appear on his channel. But I didn't think it was a good one, of course, since I as a parent think all his videos are the same until I looked at the thumbnail of this video title. The name of this mysterious new episode was called Bye Bye Ryan. The thumbnail was a photo of Ryan with what looked like his eyes missing and had red filters over it. As a parent, I was kind of worried, but as a lover of the strange and obscure, I had to pick the remote up and click on it. TV brought up the loading screen as usual and took quite a while as it does with our Wi-Fi being ridiculously slow. Finally, the channel logo comes up, but something was off about it. Actually, a lot was off about it. The backdrop looked like it was a snapshot of the bowels of hell. The sun that shows up in his logo had a sad face with hyper-realistic bloodshot eyes that was gushing blood. The letters that showed up on the logo were replaced with what looked like old VCR food. Ryan's voice in the intro was kinda gurgly sounding, like he was choking on blood. At this point, my daughter and I were completely confused as to what was going on. The scene changes and it shows Ryan standing in his room completely still facing the camera with this look on his face that was utterly depressing. He looked like he lost his best friend or even his favorite dog. But there was something more to this that, that was just off. The light coming from his window was a bright red. The camera slowly zoomed in on his face. The look on his face began to make me feel uncomfortable. Then there was a voice. Hello, Ryan, it said. It was his father speaking. The tone of this eerie video toned down a little bit because I always thought his dad sounded like the characters from Kung Pao. Ryan still looked like he was sad. Ryan still looked like he was sad about something while looking at his dad who was holding the camera. Did you carry out the deed? Now I'm kind of worried. My daughter is still watching as she usually does. Yes, daddy, Ryan says while not changing his facial expression. Show your viewers your new toy, his father says while handing him a look like two long sticks, but there was something on these sticks, they were small and round. Ryan holds these sticks up straight to reveal that these sticks were, were in fact spikes that had surprise eggs on them. Character show us what's in the eggs, his father asked him. He slams the spikes on the ground to reveal the hidden surprises inside. Boy, they were surprises, all right. These 
these eggs broke open to reveal two decapitated heads. Look like your baby sisters are sleeping peacefully, his father said. My eyes grew wider than silver dollars as I heard that. As I attempted to turn off the TV, the heads began to cry in horror. No matter how many times I tried to turn the TV off, it stayed on and the crying grew louder. horrified than I already was. My daughter still continued to look at the TV like nothing was wrong. I covered her eyes, but she got mad and tried to bite me. Like the weirdo I am, I continued to watch as well. Now, his father said, did you enjoy doing that to Kate and Emma? I was instantly sickened to hear this. What the hell was happening in this happy, child-friendly family? Ryan nods his head as if to say he didn't like what he did or saw. The camera zooms back and shows Ryan, Ryan standing in an inflatable pool filled with what looked like blood and baby limbs. Where did this pool come from? Now that our offering had been made, his father said, we can take you to the Holy Lands. Was this a satanic ritual we were seeing? What did this sick bastard mean? Suddenly, a body comes wiggling out of Ryan's race car bed. It was screaming. It was a woman. I'm going to assume that it was his mother. Don't do this to our son, she screams. But it was too late. Suddenly the window breaks, and what looks like, like the gigantic hand of Satan came in and grabbed Ryan up and squeezed him till his eyes popped out and his bones were rendered crushed beyond repair. I was horrified by what I had just seen. My daughter starts crying and screaming for Ryan, who is dead. I tried to unplug the TV from the wall, but it was still on. The hand of Satan had dropped the remains of Ryan and went back out the window. The father was still recording and gave us a glimpse of his crushed son's body. Now I'm free from this mortal torment, he said. He then panned the camera over to his wife who was trapped in a body bag, trying to make her way out. The father then picks up a sawn-off shotgun from off-screen and points it at his wife. Now it's time to finish off the root of this hell, he says. He pulls the trigger and completely blows off her head and that end of the body bag. He then begins to start laughing psychotically and pans back over to the crushed body of Ryan who is now bleeding. Ryan's body suddenly begins to twitch and move. Then it begins to start crawling towards the camera. His body now begins to make its way out of the TV and into our living room. My daughter and I began to start freaking out. The crushed dead Ryan was in our living room, bleeding and screaming, and walking in a way that was beyond paranormal. Then he began to chase after my daughter, to whom was beyond scared. I'm freaking out myself and can't think. I waited until Ryan chased my daughter back into the living room and I gave him a haymaker to his disfigured head. He fell down and hit the floor and didn't make a sound. The TV went back to the YouTube main menu. I, I later called the police and my child's mother and told them about the incident. The police didn't seem to care but still came out to the house anyways. I stepped outside to greet the investigator and let him in. I pointed at the floor where Ryan was, but he wasn't there anymore. 
My daughter even told the investigator, Ryan Scary. I even tried to bring the video up on the TV again, even though I risked, I risked scaring everyone again, but I couldn't find the video. It was gone. They had just uploaded a new video just moments ago with a completely different title, and Ryan was still alive and well. What the hell did we just witness? Because of this paranormal anomaly, my daughter and I have never again watched the Ryan 